This is a demonstration of the attribute batcher set of tools by cadprograms.ca. As you can see, there are four functions here, attribute exporter, open with notepad, open with Excel, and attribute importer. So we'll do a couple of demos here to uh, show a simple export import where we edit with notepad. And then a second one that's a little more involved where we use Excel and, uh, and can discuss some of the nuances of, of Excel opening up a, a text file. So um, let's get started. First, I hit Attribute Exporter, and the form displays the blocks that are in the current drawing. So you have a choice. You can just paste in any block name that you want, or you can uh, open up a drawing that has the the blocks in it and you can select from there. So in this case I'm looking for my A1 title block and uh, I click on the insert and I'm going to turn off these other blocks. So the only block that's going to be queried is uh, this CPA1 title block. So I'll say OK and uh, I'm given a standard Windows browse so I'll select these four schematics and say OK. And as it opens up each one of these in the core console, it's going to write the whatever data is found into a text file. And as soon as this is done, we'll have the option now to open with Notepad or to open with Excel. So for, for the first demonstration, we'll open with Notepad. And you'll see there's our, uh, there's our information. And... Um, a little bit wider there and uh, so so we can in, in a lot of cases all we want to do is um, simply maybe make a find and replace kind of change so if I go uh, control H maybe I want this to read something else like I want that to read controller um, so I'll click replace all four occurrences were replaced and I'm just gonna save and close this file now, it should be noted here that we've only changed four lines. So we could delete all the other lines and just simply execute the import with the lines that are changed. But it doesn't matter. For the ca case of this demo, I'll just leave it as is. So save, close, and I'm going to hit attribute importer. Now, the first question that I'm presented with is proceed with attribute importation, yes or no? So I'll click yes, and then it asks me proceed with text file corrections. And since I didn't open this in Excel, there are no corrections required, so I'm going to say no, no to that. And it instantly fires up the core console and does uh, the importation. So now it's done. I'm going to fire up one of these drawings and we'll show you that um, the title block should read controller instead of control. So there's a simple example of find and replace um, using the data that was in just notepad um, editing. So now we'll do the same Let's do the same example, but this time we're going to use Excel. So even though I don't, I don't need to re-export this because that's still sitting there on the, on that uh, text file. I'm going to do it again just for the sake of demonstration. So I'll hit export again. Um, it remembered the last state that I was in. So CP A1 title block is still ready to go. So I hit OK. I'll select uh, the same four schematics. Push out this data. And now, once this fourth drawing is exported, I'll hit uh, Open with Excel. And we'll see that same data again. Um, let's do an auto fit. There's the same data again. Uh, this time it says controller. And uh, I wanted to demonstrate something that's really important. Um, this right here, this data has uh, co has com 
commas in it. And because of that, Excel does a funny thing. It'll quote this entire string. Anytime it finds a column with commas in it, um, it'll, it has to quote that as per the Microsoft um, CSV and tab delimited protocol. Now, most programs, that's not a problem because they handle this in the background. In fact, Excel, Excel does as well. So I'll just quickly try and demonstrate that. If I, I'm just going to make a change here so we can prove that I'm, I'm uh, altering this data. And I'm going to close and save Excel. And I'll say save and I'll say yes. I want to replace that. And now Excel has committed the change to that text file. So if I open that up in Notepad right now, you'll see that my change is in there, ASDF is in there, but you'll also notice that the whole string is quoted. So Excel did that in the background without showing you that. And just to belabor that a little more, I'll open it again with Excel. And we'll look at that same cell. And there it is. There's no quotes around it. They're hidden um, in Excel. So what that means is when you're using Excel to manipulate your data, if you do have uh, either single quotes or com commas inside of your data, um, you will need to enable that Excel fix correction. So I don't need to save this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit import Excel. And it asks me to proceed with attribute importation. Yes. And this time I'm going to say yes to the text file correction so that I don't have a, a quoted string in my, in my title block. All right, so let's open up, um, I don't know if that was drawing one or two. Drawing one, I think. Yeah, there it is. So there's my ASDF, and you'll notice that uh, this string is not quoted, so those corrections were made when it imported. So that's the... Uh, that's the attribute batcher. Um, the last button here that we hadn't talked about is just the help file. If, you, if I click on that, it'll bring up your browser and uh, just display the help for this uh, for this set of commands. And that's the end of the demonstration.